Pipkin, live here in Key West, and you're nice. Marianne, right? Yep. Uh, do you live here? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, what got you involved with this, this event, and are, are you a sculptor here at this event? Uh, I'm not a sculptor at this event. I'm actually uh, the one organizing the event. Uh, we own the local sand sculpting business in town, and um, we've been participating in events all over the world, and I thought it was time to have one here in Key West. Um, were you um, in charge of the, the sculpture set up there at the corner of uh, Sandy's Coffee and White yeah. Street? Was that you guys? Yeah, that was us. And uh, how long did you guys have that? A little over a year. Okay. Yeah. And you like teaching classes and stuff? Yeah, yeah, workshops and uh, display sculptures, and um, after the year we relocated to the Casa Marina, and I'm still teaching the workshops. And now that's a cool job in paradise. <laughs> it's not too shabby. Um, when I was looking at the uh, footage last night, these guys were showing me, all I could think of, these guys are surgeons of sand, and um, that's a kind of cool way to put it, like artists, you know, they're artists in their own way. Um, when you do your sculptures, what, what spurs your creativity? Where, where do you get your ideas? Oh, gosh, that could be from anything. It could be from watching TV or walking outside or, you know, listening to a song and wherever you get inspiration from. Do you do animals, humans, mix of both, uh, nature scenes? Everything. everything. Everything and anything. And here we got um, this kind of got the alien thing over here. We have a bison, a buffalo, a woman inside of a shell. Uh, we got the Mayan civilization here. So what's the what's the... The, the the name of this event officially the international sand art competition international sand art and the the uh, website for it sandartkeywest.com okay sounds good is it part of the art key west festival this weekend it is. sort of yep, yep. i'm performing later tonight and um, acting at the customs house and that should be fun too um so how many days is it and when when do they get judged on these and what's the criteria please well, um, the sculptor started on Wednesday morning, and they have three and a half days to complete. So after today, it's still one morning that they get to complete their work. Um, so Saturday at 1, uh, the sculptures will be finished, and then we'll have three different ways of judging. Okay. So the sculptors will judge each other's works, except their own. Okay. We have the people uh, vote for which sculpture they like best, and I have five judges come in um, to judge for the Conquer Public Award. Okay, so there's like People's Choice, uh, there's the professional board, and then there's the artist group. Right. Um, how do they preserve these? How, how do they stay so upright? Is it water? Is it chemical? It's really just water and sand, and um, when they compact the sand, it's just wet. And the sand will stay wet for several days, um, and, but even after it dries out, it'll keep the shape that it's carved in. Um, so we don't really preserve it. It's temporary, so maybe it's up for a week, maybe two, and after that it goes back to the beach. Okay, and there's not going to be some little kid you're going to pay some money to to come and destroy him on Sunday or Saturday? I'm not paying anybody to, to destroy him, um, so hopefully they'll be up for a little bit. Okay. And I'm not giving anybody ideas, okay, disclaimer. Sure. Okay, <laughs> and what's Mel Fisher's uh, presence? Are they sponsoring this event here? Because there's a lot of... Um advertisement and shirts yeah we just finished uh, the Mel Fisher treasure dig so they donated a coin uh, that was buried in a sand sculpture okay. so we had um, voluntary diggers uh, after they purchased the ticket of course uh, to destroy the sculpture and dig for the coin that's a lot of fun yeah, um, what what are the main tools is there there's a what do you call the tools actually um, I'm curious trowels, marshal tools um, yeah. Yeah, everybody has different terms. Some sort of a blow pipe thing to get the sand out of the a straw. A straw. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, you know, why, why change something that, that works? Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Um, it's a perfect setting for it. It seems to fit in with the Casa Marina's um, mode of operation, family fun event. Um, beautiful yeah. day here. Um, anything else you want to talk about? Uh, no, you pretty much said it. Like a brings a little bit more Key West flair to the Casa Marina, I believe, and uh, I'm very, very grateful that they're um, letting me uh, do this here. Uh, where, where did you guys, uh, have you always been involved in art in your life, your, you and your husband? I guess in a way, yeah, yeah, just uh, to some level, but we met during a sand sculpting competition, so in our lives together, yes, it's always been. They met at a sand sculpting uh, competition? That's right. That is, that is awesome. That's like true love. <laughs>
that's sharing a common interest. I, sure. That's a, that's beautiful. Well, let me just, uh, just make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Um, here's one I, I thought about last night. Would it be possible, if they were a little smaller, to take any of these down and preserve them, say, in someone's home? Say someone found one they really liked and it was a small size. Could you actually ship something like this? Um, it is sand, so it will fall apart. But if it's built on location, uh, and you could put a preservant on air, We've had sculptures last for several years, in, definitely inside when there's no rain and no sun and wind. Um, so yeah, it is possible. But no, you can't put them in a truck and ship them to California. That's not going to work. <laughs> like an iron work or something. Well, um, anything else, gentlemen, we need to talk about? So we appreciate being here. Thanks for having us, okay. and nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.